Yo, welcome back. We're just kind of surfing. We're surfing through, seeing what we find, seeing what we find, seeing what we find. Oh, there we go. I have an iPad to wall video uh, from the same guy, uh, Woke One. I wanted to react to that video. He just put it up. Uh, he just put it up a little while ago. But first, I wanted to listen to this. Um, I take the pokey. Yeah, that I wanted to listen to that, and then I wanted to watch uh Andrew Tate, uh, speaking about Aiden Ross rant, and then from there, uh, react to the um, you know, to the to the painting from Woke. All right. So with that being said. Thank you for clicking the video, like, share, subscribe, do all those good things, and let's get into this one. My car. Thank you for 340 subs, guys. You guys are awesome. And I trade them. Okay. okay. So I put the clothes in the suitcase and zip it. I ain't never been handicapped. Okay, okay. But I keep that cap handy. Okay. Super hot fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. This boy looking more like Stan. Whoa! I take the ball. I bounce it. I shoot. I miss it. Oh! Air wings. I I switched it. <laughs> I take. Bruh. Super Hot Fire is legendary. Um, I had already watched that. I just thought it was funny. Some, some to, to add in the beginning of this part. I just want to show you guys his silly sense of humor. And yeah, man. This is what we're going to react to in a little bit right after this rant. Back on the lean. Is that true? Do you know who he is? I know a little bit about Aiden Ross, but I can't really like dive into stuff like that. Let's find what do y'all think? Sort of media. So, if Aiden is if Aiden is is incessant on the fact that he wants to continue to take drugs, then there's not much anybody else can do about that, and he's going to have to live the life path he's laying out for himself. He's someone you spoke to already, I'm guessing. Yeah, I spoke to him. I've done like podcasts with him. He's a kid, and I try and help him a bunch. And then he got addicted to lean. Supposedly he's back addicted to lean. I have things to do. So if you're going to get back on lean. Yeah, well, well, that comes down to the brotherhood thing again. Who do you have around you? Completely. True. Um, I do agree with um, who do you have around you. That's a good question, you know, because those people shouldn't be letting you do things like that, especially if you have some beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, like, even like you said, having money doesn't always equate to happiness. If you don't have the right people around you, you don't have the right goals, if you don't have the right mind and, and incentives. So what people does he have around him that allows him to just keep doing that? Money is an amplifier. Money doesn't change anything about who you are. They say you find out who someone really is when they have money. That's true. But money amplifies. I'm not top G because I have money. I'm top G because I was a G and then got rich. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of people. I'm not top G because I have money. I'm top G because I was a G and then got rich. <laughs> people with more money than me who aren't top Gs. You have to it amplifies who you are. So you have to become something when you're broke so that when you become rich, you get to stay that guy. Because when you're rich, it's too hard to forge yourself in fire. It's too difficult. Yeah. And if you look at the best. I like that. It's too hard to forge yourself in fire. You got to become something before you get rich so that when you get rich, you're good. People in life. If you look at the most interesting, most inspirational men on the planet, all of them have been through hell. Name a guy who you really respect who hasn't had a hard, difficult life. And then they, they went through some shit. So you're supposed to go through it. And then if you get enough money, you can amplify all those characteristics about yourself, like the fact that you're extremely brave and resilient, yeah. and you get a platform, and you can teach the world, etc. But it only amplifies. Someone like Aiden Ross, who's a little nerd, made a bunch of money streaming, stayed a little nerd. Now he's a super nerd on Lean. How old is he? He's a what nerd on Lean? And why, why Lean? What does that do? Why is that the choice? I don't know, bro. He's like 20 something. He's got like 50 million a year from some haram. Well, I guess he's still got time to grow and stuff, but he needs to find out quick. 50 million a year? That's the truth. When you stand for nothing, and the only way you can even keep your career is to a degree drama, to a degree being a clown and attracting attention for being entertaining, not for being knowledgeable, not for yeah. educating, but entertaining other people. You're entertaining as a person if you keep going on and off drugs. We wouldn't be talking about him unless he was going on and off drugs. So he makes his, because he's like a clown. So that's what, exactly. And most of these influencers are. That's how they stay influenced, influenced by doing clown shit, by doing dumb shit. They have to do dumb shit or nobody talks about them. 
So that's a hedonistic path towards hell anyway. So that's an interesting point. Never looked at it that way. You have to do clown stuff where nobody looks at you. I mean, he's a gamer too, no? I guess, you know, that's a career too. That's not clown shit, I don't think. He started as a 2K gamer, so I don't know. If he converted. I don't, I don't know how to feel about that one. And he actually started paying attention to God and started actually trying to help the world and feeding children. If he went out there and did difficult things and learned life lessons and came back on stream and talked about what he learned. If he took actual risk and told the world about how it feels to be afraid and how it feels to be brave. If he actually went through something, he could educate people, but he's afraid. So because he's afraid and he's a coward, what else can you do but be a clown? And how do you be a clown? What do clowns do? They self-depreciate for your entertainment. They make a fool of themselves so you laugh. Is that really? Is it really that simple? Make fun of yourself. I'm sorry. I'm looking for a... I'm looking for a, a vehicle quick. I'm sorry, guys. So why is he back on lean? For views, I guess. He may not even realize that himself. But that's why he's back on lean. He's back on lean so he has something to talk about on his fucking stupid show. And I actually like Aiden as a person, but if he's genuinely back on drugs, that's why he's done it. How many times can I try and help the guy? I've told him, go to the gym, get in fantastic shape. You're rich and young. You should be built like a, an animal. If he's not going to do that and just go back on drugs, then what, what can I do for him? And also, there's another thing that's very important. People around you are only going to care about you for so long as a man until you give up. Yeah. I'll tell you about me as a person. If I drive down the road and someone comes up to my car begging for money, if they're an old lady, I give them money. If they're a lady, I give them money. If you're a young man and you ask me for money, no. <laughs> Damn. He said, no. Go work. <laughs> yeah. Get a job. Yeah. You're a dude. There's not a reason good enough that you're here. Yeah, completely. There's no reason why you can't make some money without begging. Because you're a man. You could carry bricks. Do something. Yeah. Women get away with that stuff. Old people can get away with it. But if you're a young military age man, there's no excuse for this shit. I said women get away with that stuff. <laughs> Absolutely no excuse. I respect that. Be about Aiden Ross. It's supposed And um Aiden, stop doing the stupid stuff, okay? Stop doing the stupid stuff. Don't be stupid. Be nice. There's a video right here from my pad to wall. Let's get it. Woke, we'll check my guy out. We're going, we're What's going up, guys? Him. My name's Woke. I'm an artist from Connecticut. And today, I'm What's going up, to be doing a mural on the private legal wall I have. So let's grab our iPad and get right into it. He's a private legal wall. Yeah, that's right. You got to make sure that, you know, we stay. As room. usual, I am using Procreate on the iPad Pro. Shout and to, to start this, I imported one of my sketches from one of my last pieces that I'm eventually going to tweak just a little bit. But it just kind of gave me a foundation to work off of and start layering characters into the background and foreground cool. and i wanted to make sure that it told a little bit of a story i thought it'd be fun to illustrate a narrative where there was a kid dressed up as a pirate kind of imagining that they found buried treasure and maybe had like a little parrot companion so that's what i drew and here you can see i'm fine lining everything and making slight modifications for this portion i'm using the technical pen under inking in procreate and I did not do a color rendering for this because I kind of had an idea in my head and I wanted to surprise myself with the wall. I also was not able to project this piece because there is a gate about 10 feet from the wall behind me. Okay, now that my sketch is done, I'm going to print this out and I'm going to freehand it onto the wall. Perseus. Just the freehand? Mm -hmm. That's who you're named after. Because he was a hero? Because he was brave and kind and against all odds, exactly. he managed to find his way to a happy ending. This looks interesting. I'm used to the world feeling weird to me. <laughs> like a puzzle with half their own pieces. But lately, it all feels different somehow. Percy, you are special. When you're ready to hear what the gods have in store for you, they'll tell you. Percy, the stories I have told you about Greek gods and monsters. 
They wanna, are real. I want to watch this. This is crazy. You are a half blood, and half bloods are not safe in the world. Everything has been training for what's still ahead of you. Hold on. Who's that? Percy Jackson. Your father needs your help. The master bolt has been stolen. If you don't return the bolt, there will be war. That is your quest. Okay. I know it sounds daunting. My brother about to go on a quest. You won't be alone. A quest is always undertaken by three. Any gods process reality differently. We gotta figure out what you're good at. Should I try again? No! No! <laughs> you're not good at that. You still don't get where you fit into all this. We all, right, seen all right, I got the wall all prepped behind me, so let's get a sketch on it. All right, so now I am mapping this out on the wall. What I did was I printed my reference onto a piece of paper. I folded that paper in half to find the center point on the wall, and I started from the center of the wall, and I'm working out to the right and left as I go. Uh, smart. Also, I'm sorry these lines are so dusty. It's an old can of Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch, but it really doesn't matter. Your sketch lines are just there for you as a reference point. And once you get your foundation all to where you want it and you start to color your piece in, these lines really aren't gonna matter. They're not gonna show in the end, so. Okay. So now I'm gonna shut up and let you enjoy the process. Like a prime. No, you can keep talking. I don't mind the narration. Excuse me, somebody to talk to, so I don't have to shut up. You know what? I'm gonna shut up too. All right, the rough sketch is on the wall. You guys should know by now, it's time to just go back and clean that up with a brighter color. This may not have been super necessary. I could have worked off those other lines, but it just helps him feel more confident about the lines that I'm using and just altering things in the littlest way possible instead of having so many sketchy lines on the wall. That's fine. All right, I'm glad the sketch is mapped out. I got a late start today, so I'm gonna come back sometime next week. I don't know, when I get a chance to finish and color it all in. Hey, what's up? It's the future. Thanks for joining me. We're here about a week later, and uh, you know, they say the future's looking bright. It's not, it's cold, it's wet, it's raining. <laughs> that was cool. Raining, <laughs> dark, I don't like it. Um, I'm gonna try to fight through the rain and see if I can finish this. So you can see here, I decided to base the piece in kind of a tealish blue. I thought that that would kind of, I, I guess, reflect the ocean idea. You know, it's a pirate, so why not make the piece look like the ocean? Um, there's a lot of changes I end up making in this piece. So once I fill this, you'll see all the problems that are coming. <laughs> All right, here's the deal. I started lining this W. You can see there's this gray here. And uh, I'm not really feeling it. So I think green might be a better choice. I don't know, I'm gonna try green. If not, I don't know what to do, but there's no mistakes, just more content. <laughs> I like that. Guys, trust me, I know. This is a complete waste of paint and I'm just as bummed as you guys are. But I don't want to settle anymore. If I'm not happy with the piece, I'm going to change it. I'm going to figure out why I don't like it and change what I don't like about it. I'm done being lazy, and I hope that you guys are too. All right, it's really starting to come down. The rain is getting bad, so um, I'm going to call it a day. That's a beautiful 3DW. I'm not going to lie. What you did there was different. Let me know if you guys like the W better, what I, I did do, with I it. Do, I do. Tell me in the comments. Um, hopefully, I get a chance to come back tomorrow and finish this. We'll see. Good morning. It is unfortunately day three. This should have been a one-day piece, but I got rained out yesterday. You can see it is bright and sunny today, so I'm going to get finished. Um, I questioned a lot of my choices yesterday, so much so that I actually went and got an eye exam. I'm not joking. Check it out. You've worked hard to build equity in your home. Now it's time to make that equity work for you.
Anyways, back to painting. I actually have uh, looked at this last night and made some new decisions that I'm gonna change about this. I looked back at this and realized what I would have done different. I would have taken this tone, the darker tone, and made that the fill and lined with this fill color and done highlights with that. It's, yeah, don't worry about that. I'll explain that in a seminar someday as to values. But as for this W, I am gonna get into that and show you guys the alterations I wanna make with some darker tones just to make things pop a little more. Also, don't worry, my eyes are okay. I did get a new prescription. I've got new contacts in. These glasses are because it is extremely sunny and bright out, so. Anyways, let's get into painting. So like I said, the night before, yeah, that's gonna be bothering. Yo, that W is nice the way it is though. I think if you just color like the blue a little darker. That's or I ended up making a better game plan. I went in with a darker color that I feel like made the green pop out a little more yeah. and just kind of created like an inner wall. So it looks like the letter is kind of 3D. And I'm also I putting like that mid-tone back in to make a shadow off of the wall. All right, I'm much happier with how this looks now. Unfortunately, I have to fix the A and the K, so I'm gonna do that and then we can get into everything else. All right, the piece is done, so I'm feeling better about that. I'm about to get into this little bird character here and I put this like symbol up there so that you don't forget to like it, please. And uh, yeah, then I can get onto the ground stuff. So to start this character, I'm just basing it in my mid to dark tone kind of, and I'm just gonna create a lot of layers on top until it has all the highlights that I feel it needs. And I kind of go back and add some contrast with some of the darker tone. And you'll see that in just a sec. That's cool. If you've wanted to see how I do my characters, this is pretty much step by step. I am just basing colors and just layering lighter colors on top and going back and adding darker contrast. Um, for all of this portion, I am using the level one cap to get this part done. You'll see me use that again later on in this piece. Look at that. All right, I just want to take a quick sec to apologize for filming from this angle. Now, the reason that I film from that angle is because I'm right-handed. So I'll show you that if I go over here, you can see the birdie is done. Everything looks much more clear. But what? if I painted from this angle, I would block everything with my body and you wouldn't be able to see. So it's a little after 12 now at about 2 p.m. You'll see much more shadow on the wall. And here comes the train. We'll film that. Why not, right? Safety reasons. You can't give a kid a real sword. Yo, so I just want to take a quick sec to apologize from filming from this angle. Now, the reason that I film p.m., you'll see much more shadow on the wall and hear everything with my body and you wouldn't be able to see Quick sec to apologize from filming from this angle. Now, the reason that I film from that angle is because I'm right-handed. So I'll show you that if I go over here, you can see the birdie is done. That is heat. The birdie? You did that with spray paint, dude? Do got the shadow of the beacon all. Everything looks much I made the hole on my cap 3 16 which seems to just push the paint out a little easier, so... Go ahead and do that when you get that tool because it is an awesome game changer tool for all the tiny details. And again here you can see me just layering lighter colors on top of the dark colors. Uh, my goal is to get all the ladder work done just because it's such a pain. So once I'm on the ground things move a little quicker. So I tend to get the harder portions out of the way and then treat myself later. <laughs> I almost debated not putting these polka dots in because they were kind of uh, annoying to do, but I'm really glad I did. I felt like it kind of just made the piece and I'm basically basing in a mid-tone and then adding highlights and darks later on where the shadows are and where the highlights are. Now I'm finally back on the ground. I just have to finish up the treasure chest and the portrait. Or I should say the kid's face. The way Not really you... a portrait, more of a cartoon caricature. I don't know, man. I don't know how you do this. Practice, I'm sure, but man. You 
you can see here, I'm getting close to done with the treasure chest, just making sure everything's smooth and, you know, also just smoothly transitioning into this commercial for my website, kbluart.com, where you can find plenty of merch. I have shirts, hoodies, uh, original art, prints, stickers, pins, whatever you need. I got it. Check it out. Thanks, guys. And now back to painting. So gifted, dude. This is beautiful, man. You and Marco need to collaborate or something. Let's casually go to the other side and just go paint that. <laughs> I can already tell like it looks super nice. So the pizza he has on everything else is blanking is amazing. Yeah. Having different tips and stuff. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, I am all wrapped up. I am freezing. I'm about to show you the final product behind me in just a second. I just wanted to say a quick thank you as always for watching. I really appreciate it. And I want to know, so tell me in the comments, what did you want to be when you grew up? This piece behind me is all about childhood creativity. And when I grew up, I wanted to be an artist. And thankfully, every day, that's what I get to do. So if you're not chasing your dreams, maybe it's time to quit your job tomorrow. Don't do that. I'm just kidding. Get a full plan and figure it out. But let me know in the comments. And thank you guys. Here it is, the final product. Wow. Woke. What a way to play with the name, bro. That's beautiful, man. You need to have a house and just paint that entire house with just art, man. That's that's beautiful that's beautiful boy ain't no way boy that's crazy that's spray paint guys let me know what y'all think i think that that's a beautiful piece of work right there what the detail in that with some spray paint well you're a gifted man thank you for the video thank you for the time we're here to react to them every time you put them out so as always lend a helping hand two hands are better than one three it's always going to be better than none. Stay safe out there. God bless you guys. And I'm out of here, my boys. Peace. Yo, woke. You did your thing that time again, baby. Keep it up.